From the tall standing stones crafted by volcanic activity to the oddly shaped and placed boulders all over the world, today we look at the strangest rock formations on Earth. Number 11. Fingal's Cave Composed of hundreds of hexagonal basalt columns, the sea cove situated on the Scottish Isle of Staffa is known as Fingal's Cave. It's believed that this unique geological landmark came to be as lava surged to the surface from the seafloor more than 50 million years ago. The cooling of the igneous basalt rock resulted in gradual cracking, resulting in the tetragonal and hexagonal shapes of Fingal's Cave's columns. Sightseeing cruises will take visitors past the entrance often, with some cruises even allowing their passengers to explore the arch cove up close. Number 10. Giant's Causeway The sibling to the previously mentioned Scottish Grotto across the North Channel Strait, connecting the Irish Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, is the Giant's Causeway in the uppermost coast of Northern Ireland. Much like Fingal's Cave, this rocky beach is notable for featuring more than 40,000 basalt columns, formed by the same lava flow tens of millions of years prior. They reach heights of up to 39 feet on this coast, and some portions of the igneous rock measure 92 feet in thickness. But rather than chalk the origin of these two unique locations up to geological phenomenon, locals say another more folkloric source is to thank for Fingal's Cave and the Giant's Causeway. Legend goes that the Irish mythological figure, Finn McCool, built a causeway connecting the coast of Ireland and Scotland using the massive stone columns to do so. His reason? To create a bridge by which to combat Scotland's own giant, referred to as Benendoner. But as the Scottish behemoth approached the Irish hero, McCool noticed Ben and Donner was much larger and disguised himself as a baby instead. When the giant arrived and saw the size of McCool's apparent baby, he ran away in fear of what he assumed would be a much larger father, demolishing the fabled bridge connecting Giant's Causeway to Fingal's Cave. Number 9. Wave Rock in Western Australia, a large rock wall stands 49 feet tall and stretches nearly 360 feet across, creating a concave overhang, earning its iconic name of Wave Rock. This gorgeous black and brown striped formation is visited by more than 100,000 tourists per year as a main attraction to the Hayden Wildlife Park. Wave Rock lies just two miles east of the town of Hayden and forms the northern face of a greater formation known as the Hayden Rock. This greater rock is a special type of hill known as an Inselberg and spreads out to three separate domes, separated by a reservoir in the center. Hayden Rock and Wave Rock, by default, consist of 2.63 billion-year-old granite compounded with igneous minerals. As for Wave Rock itself, it is what geomorphologists refer to as a flared slope, created by the chemical weathering of groundwater. As the land surrounding Hayden Rock slowly eroded away over the millennia, so too did a deep pocket of loose bedrock, broken from the granite structure, resulting in the eventual smooth wave-like wall seen today. Number 8. Fairy Chimneys Ancient volcanoes once blanketed the region of Cappadocia, Turkey in ash, a substance that once dense enough would solidify into a soft mineral known as tuff. As natural erosion occurred, wearing away the weakest parts of the thick layering, sturdy towers of tuff remained to create the widely sought fairy chimneys seen today. These spires are known as hoodoos in geological terms, and feature rounded rocks at their pinnacle. But the natural effect on this landscape is only part of the basis for this landmark's charm. The town of Garema became home to Christian inhabitants during the era of the Roman Empire, and the new settlers found the tough of the environment to be very malleable and easy to work with. Evidence of the fondness for the material can be seen in the structures that continue to stand to this day. Everything from homes and pigeon houses to churches and stables were carved into the soft rocks, complementing the majesty of the fairy chimneys already in place. There were even underground cities dug into the delicate stone, with the capability to hide as many as 10,000 people at once during hostile invasion, disguising ventilation shafts as wells and using rolling stones as secret doors. Number 7. Devil's Marbles Referred to by the local Aboriginal Australians as Karlu Karlu, the massive round boulders adorning the land just outside the town of Wahop has come to be known as the Devil's Marbles in more recent times. These large rocks are scattered throughout a wide, shallow valley and establish the uppermost layer of the large granite formation that sits beneath them. The boulders themselves are also gigantic and can be found in a variety of conditions and placements, with some being split directly down the middle and others being strangely stacked one on another. 
The diversity and sheer number of these incredibly round boulders shaped by millions of years of erosion, along with the extreme heat of the desert landscape, seem to be the most likely source of this landmark's nefarious title. But the aboriginals of the Warumungu locality attribute a different significance to these rocks. According to a number of their traditional stories, Karlu Karlu was a common setting for historically important events, one of which included the aboriginal figure called Orangi, also known as the Devil Man, who traveled through the desert, dropping chunks of hair as he did so. Legend tells of these hairs growing over time into the great red boulders that would become the Devil's Marbles. Number 6. Surag Bolton Atop the Norwegian mountain Surag sits an oddity lodged snugly within a crevasse, simultaneously enthralling and perplexing the brave visitors that seek it out. At multiple points in ancient history, Norway was blanketed in glaciers. Between these ice ages, the melting water cut through the mountains as the sea level rose and lowered, having interesting effects such as leaving Surag Bolton, the 180 cubic foot boulder, wedged in the fissure of this mountaintop. The large sandstone rock has become a popular tourist destination on the mountain with visitors waiting for over an hour for a chance to get a photo of the iconic stone. The landmark itself isn't too difficult to access as the public can reach it without the assistance of climbing equipment. However, once standing on this picturesque destination, a jaw-dropping 3,228 feet abyss looms treacherously beneath interested individuals. For thrill-seekers, though, this spells opportunity, as Serog Bolton has seen its popularity grow in recent years as a base-jumping site. Number 5. Split Apple Rock Positioned north of New Zealand's South Island in Tasman Bay is Split Apple Rock, or Tekengua, as it's also named. The granite stone is strangely in the shape of an apple thanks to a natural cleft and rounded shape brought on by erosion. Visitors can wade through shallow waters during low tide to reach the rock, which has been split in two since its discovery. It's unknown, scientifically, what caused the 120 million year old split apple rock to crack, but Maori beliefs hold that this iconic formation came to be by the will of two gods, pulling it apart while fighting for its possession. Hence the source of the rock's Maori name, Takengua, which translates to burst open rock. Despite this history though, the landmark was officially dubbed Split Apple Rock in 1988, being recognized as so for more than 35 years until it was renamed Takengua Split Apple Rock in 2014. Number 4. Devil's Tower in 1906, United States President Theodore Roosevelt officially declared the first national monument, rising out of the grassy hills of Wyoming as a part of the Bear Lodge mountain range of the Black Hills. This lone butte is known as Devil's Tower, though not everyone calls it that. This sedimentary and igneous rock-laden wonder was known by local native tribes by names like Bear's House, Tree Rock, Great Greyhorn, and others with Bear Lodge Butte being its recognized alternative name today. It is believed that this stone attraction is the culmination of layers of sediment amassing for the past 195 to 225 million years. Devil's Tower contains red sandstone, maroon siltstone, as well as different types of shale, limestone, mudstones, and more. At some point in time, magma rose up into the butte, penetrating the sedimentary layers. Due to its unique shape and form, only 1% of the tower's annual visitors actually try to climb the peak, relying heavily on traditional climbing techniques to scale it successfully. Number 3. Moraki Boulders Koekoe Beach on the coast of New Zealand is littered with massive rocks reaching up to 9 feet in diameter. These are the Moiraki boulders, not giant petrified eggs as they may appear. According to Maori beliefs, the Great Canoe, the same one responsible for bringing ancestors to New Zealand initially, wrecked near this beach. Upon doing so, baskets carrying eels washed ashore and eventually hardened into stone. But according to scientists, we have mud to thank for this phenomenon, not petrified eel baskets. Crystallizing across 5 million years on the seafloor, the Great Meraki boulders surfaced from the ocean once sea levels dropped low enough, resulting in the gigantic stone spheres present today. Number 2. Balancing Rock just off the coast of Maine is the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. It's one of the country's three maritime provinces and hosts the capital of Halifax. But this waterbound landmass hosts much more than cities, including their famed Balancing Rock. Located on Long Island, this geological oddity stands teetering on the west coast. After traversing a mile-long trail just outside the town of Tiverton, along St. Mary's Bay, visitors will find what appears to be a 20-ton rock standing an estimated 30 feet tall. But its size isn't nearly as impressive as its position, which is vertically erect and dangling halfway off the edge of the cliff. 
The formation is a basalt column, the product of volcanic activity, and looks as if it could tip over and go crashing into the sea at any moment. This landmark isn't wholly unique, though, as balancing rocks of various types can be found all over the world. Number 1. Stone Forest Around 270 million years ago, a shallow sea sat in the modern-day Chinese autonomous county of Xilin Yi. The area experienced an uplift at some point, and the combination of running water and wind slowly sculpted the accumulated limestone of the seabed into the pillars that form the modern stone forest. Collectively, this rock formation expands across more than 150 square miles, and due to its unique condition, has been named a UNESCO heritage site. Chinese folklore tells of a woman named Ashima being born among the stone forest. Upon being forbidden from marrying the suitor she fell in love with, Ashima was turned to stone alongside the pillars, with the rock still bearing her name, according to local legend. 